This is Tom Albright with AV Nation and ISE 2024 in the Datapath stand with David Griffins. Welcome, sir. Hello there. Nice to see you again. Thank you, sir. Uh, nice, to, nice, to, nice to be here. Uh, you guys have got some impressive things going on. Uh, number one, uh, talk for a second about Atria. Atria, yes, certainly. So Atria is really all about making control rooms simple. Okay. So it's, a, it's an expansion to our typical technology. We have VSN very much at the video wall level. Yeah. But HO really ties everything together. So now we're bringing the operator workstations. They are, after all, video walls are in their own right. So we're creating personal video walls, combining that with the large screen video walls, and bringing that, tying that all together really with the AV over IP technology, which is collecting the sources. So if it's a physical source, we encrypt it and um, compress it and bring it across the network so it's available to anywhere we wish to display it. And if it's an IP camera stream, for example, we already have decoding cards that pick up the information, and again, we can share that. So make it simple. So that's a perfect segue because I was going to ask you, define what that means. Define what make it simple means. Sure, sure. So it's really having access to the information at the right time, at the right place. So okay. if I'm an operator, I don't want to become a video wall operator. I want to be doing my 911 calls. Do your job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we've seen a lot of command centers where things are over time, there's legacy systems of bringing and expanding the number of screens that I need to have on my desk. And they're adding my keyboard and mice count as well. So if there's a big call, which keyboard of the four keyboards or which mouse do I need to move? Let's make it simple. Let's have a single keyboard and mouse. Let's use the real estate of the screen. So we'll drag the information to where I want it. And when I want to um, operate with that PC, click on it, unlock it and my keyboard and mouse is working on that application and okay. that PC. And so, but, but that's that way that makes that operator's job just that much more simple. Well, we're, we're always trying to be cognitive about the operator. They're not, they're not about the control room technology, they're about doing the task. Yeah. So whether it's an oil operation center or as we say, 911, let them do their task. Let's try and take away the stress and make it as easy as it can to do the operations. You used a phrase there a second ago that I, I like, personal video wall, Yes. right? Talk about your guys' new operator workstations. Yeah, so to make things even easier, so we find at the um, operator workstation level, you're gonna use a PC to collect the information. Yeah. Um, we now have brought out a PC to make that even easier. Okay. So with onboard graphics, we can add in then decoder cards that take the streams from the AV over IP or the IP video directly, and that just becomes a simple way. It's a small form factor device that can be used to work at the operator workstation and in a different format, we can use it actually as a small video wall processor when you've got the large screen video wall as well. So nice. it's a very adaptable um, new product. Yeah. So that's um, just to use the name, VSM Mini 300. I like, I like that. Uh, finally, you guys are also showing off a touch screen that you're, that yeah. you're deploying. Yeah, so again, talking about simplicity, we talked about the keyboard, single keyboard and mouse. A lot of people want to have a touch screen on their desk. In a lot of times, you know, under stress, so normal situation 911, Things are normal. Yeah. Horrible situation happens. It's much easier, you know, keyboard and mouse. Rather than using that, let's press a preset one, two, three, four. Let's have some scenarios already set up. Or in more interesting cases, let's use the pinch and zoom. Let's be able to move things around where wow. we want to. So it just gives a different way of interacting with our systems. Yeah. All right, All right David. Somebody wants to find out more about Datapath. How to do that? So best thing, come to our website. It's www.datapath.co.uk. And use the contact us and we'd be delighted to respond to you. Right, Thank you. David Griffith from uh, Datapath for us, for Aviation. Go by our website, aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv. Find more videos from the show floor of ISE 2024. All that and more at aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv.